What's up, guys? It's Brian again from Lake Acre School Memory. And if you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, we are on Chapter 6, which is the final chapter in the SSI Dry Suit Diver Program. And this program, of course, is or our goal here is to help you review for your final exam. Please do not use this video nor any of the videos in this series to go out and dive a dry suit. Make sure you're seeking out your local SSI diving, Dry Suit Diving Instructor to get properly trained. With that being said, let's go ahead and finish up with chapter six. So the first part of chapter six is we're going to look at basic maintenance of your suit. And yes, you do need to maintain the dry suit. You've already learned just how expensive these suits can be. And we want to make sure that we take good care of them. Number two, we also want to make sure that we take good care of it so that when it's ready to go dive, we can dive it. So you're going to learn the proper prepping procedures. Now your local SSI dry suit diving instructor is going to show you how to prep your zipper and your seals and even the suit itself to make sure it properly fits. Once you've got it prepped, then you need to test the suit and maintain it throughout your say diving journey and your SSI dry suit diving instructor is going to help you out with that. All right, guys, to finish up with chapter six, so let's talk a little bit about repairs really quick. Now, for basic minor repairs, you can actually do that at home, whether you're patching a small hole or maybe you're fixing, say, an inflator valve issue or something like that. However, you still may need to send your suit off for proper repairs. If you tear a seal and it's something that you can replace because you got quick seals, that's an easy fix. But if you have glue on seals, then, of course, you may have to glue them on yourself or send it off to a repair center. By purchasing a suit that's brand new from your local retail center, most likely, it's going to have some type of warranty program where if you do have, say, a catastrophic failure with a suit that is caused by the manufacturer, they will be able to replace that free of charge. Now, if you have to pay for repair, there are several different options out there. Check with your local SSI training and retail center and see what options they have. And if you do have to send it off, simply do a quick search online and you will find a good repair center for you. But guys, that's going to do it for chapter six and for the series of Dive in a Dry Suit. We really hope this series helps you pass your final exam of the SSI Dry suit diver course, but please make sure you're seeking out a local SSI dry suit instructor to get properly trained so that you can stay safe and comfortable while diving your dry suit. But guys, that's it for this series. If you got any questions, drop me a comment down below. If you like this series, give me a big thumbs up as well. I am going to leak you a playlist. This is a more in-depth playlist to dry suit diving that we did about a year ago that we it'll help you pick out the proper suit for you, show you how to put it on, show you how to dive it, how to take care of it, and even how to store it. So make sure you check out that playlist. And if you got any questions on those videos, just drop me a comment and I'll answer those questions as quickly as I can and as best as I can as well. But until our next video, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.